Um, speaking as an autistic person, like we have problems with autophagy. Like you don't really see the dysfunction in autophagy until later. So we're supposed to naturally already have autophagy. We're supposed to already, you know, be in ketosis when we're, when we're babies. It's said in some of the studies that that's why we become, in a sense, toxic in our, in our bodies and brain because the autophagy is not functioning properly. So all that damaged DNA and all those cells are still there. That's why I, I'm okay with intermittent fasting. For my kids, I do not go over 14 hours. I think max. Even then, I'm still, that's not even every day. It's like one, twice a week maybe. For maybe 12 hours, it's, it's probably like three three times a week, but a 14 hour maybe once, if that. I would, I yeah. agree with you. I don't, I think that it's very risky at the, this point. I would wait till they're older, almost pretty much done with yeah. development. Uh, which of course that usually doesn't happen until 25 but like there is a major spurt in like when they're like 13 14 15. when they get to that point though i do believe for autistic people that it's more beneficial for them to do longer fasts like 18 18 mm. 24 just because we already have a dysfunction in that just that little bit of support would help us greatly what do you think about longer fasts then autistic people yeah i i say if you can i don't think it's necessary to do a three day fast or anything like that if you can do like once in a while once a month 24 hour fast i think that's great i don't believe in more is better i don't believe in that